everybody welcome back to my channel thank you all for joining me i hope you're all doing well um i'm not camera ready today i wasn't expecting to film a video but i've just had a delivery a very large box um of craft things not yarn things um so if you're here for yarn and crochet only this is not the video for you um but you might want you might want to watch if you're otherwise a crafter uh, which I'm, i know many of you are um i let me do my like admin i've basically i've started a facebook group um it's pink pumpkin crochet it is a closed group but i will accept anyone uh the only reason i've done it as a closed group is because i didn't want like for myself to be sharing things that i might have made as a gift for like family or friends or uh, again if anyone in the group has made for family or friends obviously if that person is in the group there's not a lot anyone can do about that but sometimes I, I don't dare share in open groups in case it like somehow pops up you know like you you see random stuff on Facebook that other people have commented on um I don't want to be like giving any spoilers and like ruining Christmas or birthday presents or whatever so it's a closed group but it's not you know very exclusive I, I do want it to be to talk about our craft endeavours um, and other things as well there's no you know it's not a very strict group um, but I just did it for that reason so please go and join it's just called pink pumpkin crochet um, Facebook group I suppose I can't I think the like the header picture um, is pink yarn with my logo so it should you know that's the one um, I'll try and remember to leave some sort of information in the bar below but you know what I'm like for doing that anyway um i have lost my crojo a little bit not completely i still tinker um but i'm not doing sort of like any massive projects at the minute i finished um the be my diamond scarf that i was making um i don't know if i've shown you that or not i don't think i have i will do a, a, a crochet update when i have things to show but i've literally just made a scarf um there are a couple of bits I could show but that's not what I'm doing today I've, I'm, I'm filming today because I've had a delivery um like I said I've I've lost my crojo a little bit um but I have been I've been suffering with my anxiety really quite badly over the past couple of weeks I've gone back to the doctors um Kirk sorry I'm fiddling with the box Kirk um as ever is massively supportive I'm really trying to make sure that I'm speaking about how I'm feeling and I'm talking to people and I'm not bottling things up um it's really difficult and I'm sure many of you will relate and are probably suffering yourself um so I and like I, I feel like I don't want to talk on it too much because I want this to be a happy place um but that's the reality of what's been happening um and so I've not been wanting to crochet and I've been trying not to I've been trying to busy myself and I've been finding drawing and doodling and even a little bit of watercolour um painting um quite med meditative meditative i don't know if i'm saying right words today um yeah i'm finding it really like therapeutic and so like I, f I feel like it's a happy middle ground because i can't, i feel like i've not got the attention span for like a new series on netflix or to read a book um, I'm finding that I'm not reading the book or I'm not watching the TV I'm like flicking through my phone or I'm like getting up to do other things and I can't concentrate that much but then crochet is like there's not it's not keeping me busy enough I suppose I could find like a more difficult pattern um, or do something like follow a pattern rather than just making like granny squares or a straight backwards and forwards project um, but you know the, dr the drawing and the doodling and the just doing something different I think is I'm finding it it's it's bringing me peace um so I thought I would show you what I've ordered from Hobbycraft um it's have I just shown you the box I filmed this like three times because I keep not saying words properly um it's in this huge box um I ordered it Sunday and it arrived just now it's Thursday let me move that uh, it's Thursday afternoon and I spent £50 if you wanted to know um, not to be like I have that much money but I don't know I feel like 
it gives you an idea of I don't know I'm just gonna stop talking anyway so I've ordered um, some pens and some paper because I don't use professional artist wear is that the word um, like I'm not I don't use I just literally use like printer paper sharpies and like Crayola felt tip pens I've probably got two pencils um, I've got some pencil cranes and some Crayola wax cranes that are all like leftovers from other sets and from like from stuff that my niece I buy my niece and nephew to play with that don't play with it anymore because it's you know too cool it's not cool enough for them anyway <laughs> so I've gone with pens and paper um, I've bought some acrylic paint I'm like I'm spoiler in this um, I don't know if I spoke about it before I have like an MDF well I have two um, MDF rainbow like puzzle things and I want to paint them up and I'm going to give it to Grace for her birthday if it's okay if it's not okay then I'm not um, but that and I've bought some other bits let's just go through and I can explain my thinking behind things I thought this was a gift bag. <laughs> it's some E3 paper, um, just for some bigger paper. I've been, I know it sounds silly, but I feel like I've just been like doing pretty patterns on paper with the idea to use it for something else, whether it's like a homemade wrapping paper or behind photos in frames. Like I've not been like drawing a picture of a house and I'm going to colour it in. It's literally like doodling. So. I thought that'd be good for like the wrapping paper idea or whatever. Um, I have also ordered some plain white. I feel like I, I'm, I'm like, people are like, why have you bought that? I'm seven minutes in and I've shown you a pad of paper. Um, they came from Amazon. Um, some like plain white luggage tags, just paper ones, not actual luggage tags, but you know, that sort of thing. Um, and rather than buying gift tags, or doing what I normally do and just like sticking the card to a birthday present um, I've been colouring them in all pretty again it's just something to doodle on without like having like a, I'm not a picture drawer um, I have bought some mini glue dots um, for gluing things with dots I think they're only about a pound um, I've ordered some, a little Mod Podge, I always want to call it Mod Podge, uh, it's the shiny one, not the matte one, um, it was only a couple of quid, I've never used it before, um, and this is going to go like the sealant on the rainbows, I'm hoping, um, I have one large white acrylic paint, this was just like the cheapest one they had, it's for 100ml, um that's going to be like the base coat i'm trying not to rattle i always think you know when people are rattling you think just put the plastic bag down um it's going to be the base coat and obviously you can mix white with other colors um what's this oh these are i don't know why it's called a triangle marker because it's a round barrel but uh just cheap felt tip pens all mine are running out and like I say, I'm not, woo, this box is pushing on the little table. I'm not an artiste. Um, I don't feel like I need to buy like the £100 markers or even like the £20 markers. Um, these will suffice for what I need. And if I keep it up, I always feel like I want to buy, like I want to see how I get on with the hobby before I really go to town. Uh, so I'm sorry that this isn't like professional quality or anything. Um, I ordered a pack of brushes uh, for watercolours. I bought them because I want them for watercolours because I just have one that came with the... It's just like a... It's one of those wooden... The set I've got is what I'm trying to tell you. It's one of those cases that like open up and as it opens it's got like a tray of pencils a tray of pencil cranes and there's like a strip of watercolours um, and it came with one brush so obviously I've got one size um, and also it's really poor really 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 poor quality like all the bristles fall out as you're using it so I just thought with those I've got a couple of sizes um, and then these bigger ones 
I'm going to use for the acrylic paint. Again, I'm not a professional. I don't need professional quality. I'm just doing it to have fun. Uh, oh, that's the return label. I won't be returning it. Um, I bought this, an alphabet, a uh, little, little, an alphabet stamp kit in old typewriter font. Um, so it's a wooden box, and inside you've got like the little alphabet. <laughs> That's what they look like. Um, because my handwriting's not neat at all, and it's to go with. Oh, is that it? These I bought some card blanks. Um, I think all the card blanks were on sale for a fiver. For you get fifty cards and envelopes. There's loads of different sizes. These are five by seven, so they're quite big. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing is like making just really, really again not professional, but really simple birthday cards. Perhaps I've got some coloured card upstairs. Um, just it's just like small rectangles, you know, sticking one of those in the middle stamping happy birthday merry christmas congratulations and crocheting like an applique um of a cupcake or a bunny rabbit or whatever and making cards um because why not i always feel like every oh i put it on top of all the plastic stupid woman i always feel like when i buy throw it on the floor when I buy craft things I don't I don't know what it is I don't know if it's not wanting to be like wasteful or I don't I don't know what it is about me but I feel like whatever I'm making has to have a purpose which is why I quite often lean towards wanting to do things that are as gifts for people um or like making birthday cards so rather than just painting a picture because i like it i feel like i need a reason um it's really weird i i think i've always been like that so i'm used to myself now um i've bought some a4 card just in case i want card and i bought some a4 paper because i'm running out um but i didn't feel the need to buy a whole ream i think this was a pound um and I don't, I don't have a printer, so I don't need like a whole ream of paper, really. Um, the last one I bought lasted me years. Um, and like I say, if I really, if this really takes off, and I decide I want to buy myself a really nice sketchbook, or I want to buy even more card supplies, loads of embellishments, then I can. Um, and I do realise that, like, uh, my friend Charlotte is really into, well, she was uh, really into making like shadow box frames. Um, and over time she's like really quite built up quite the craft stash um, so I can't like I don't, I don't want to buy it all at once and then not use it I feel like all this if I like if I don't use that it's not the end of the world I feel like I need to explain myself I think it's because I was trying to justify it to Kirk why I need to buy all these things he's like but you like crochet um, I bought some acrylic paints just the cheap ones uh, you get 12 colours and then I've got the large white. You do get a little white um, in here, but obviously I can mix those. Um, I used to paint a lot when I, li when I lived at home. I was probably like eight, six, 17, 18. I used to paint a lot. I used to buy canvases. Um, and I don't know whether I was very good. And I never know if I'm using the equipment properly. Um, but I enjoyed it, so I think that's all that matters. Um, yeah, so just some cheap paint. Oh, my hair's falling out of the clip. It's only a little one. It's not very good. Um, then, ooh, last two things. I feel like this isn't very exciting now, but I was really excited to get it all. Um, I've ordered some bright coloured card and envelope. Uh, these are C6, so I don't know what... They were five by seven inch. I think these are smaller. Uh, but you get yellow, red, green, blue and purple, which is a strange combination. No orange. But yeah, I thought if I wanted to do like an applique of like white bunting on colourful card, exciting. And then I got an ink pad for the stamp kit. Um, 
yeah so I'm really excited for all that um sorry I've not washed my hair today I put some dry shampoo in and it's Ugh, it just feels a bit manky um let's do that yeah so i'm not stopping crocheting in fact i need to do some crochet some like shapes and things now um but i just i just fancied trying something different and yeah again i don't know why i'm trying to justify myself but i thought i'd show you what i've all i thought i'd show you all what i've got not got my teeth in um and you can let me know if you have ever made any cards or anything and any tips um i did buy some is it e6000 glue which is like the ultimate crafting glue um but i only bought a really tiny tube of it off amazon i should have known because it was a really good price but again if i don't end up really needing it i've only got a little tube i'm not wasting anything so um, sorry it's not a crochet video, like I say I've been doing other things and my mind has been elsewhere. Um, sorry if this video was a bit weird, I feel like I waffled on for ages then rushed through and just show you loads of paper. But if I, if I make anything exciting I will show you, um, although I feel quite like I don't like, I've been doodling tags and sharing it on Instagram and I'm like, it's not very good. There's some like actual artists out there and then there's me just like drawing bumblebees and things um but yeah so thank you all for watching i hope you're all well um if you would like me to do a video on anything that is anything else let me know um i did toy around with the idea of talking a bit more about my mental health journey um as like a like a cathartic you know sort of like a self self therapy thing um, but also maybe like I don't think it would help anyone necessarily but I always think speaking about mental health and how I've struggled it I, if I hear other people talk about it, it makes me feel not as alone um, and I think it normalizes it a bit more as well um, or anything else or you know if you want a dog update or anything I can do that um, Hector's asleep on the sofa at the minute and Kirk's just got home from work and he's gone for a little nap um, and Hugo's gone with him. Uh, yeah, so let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see from me um, and I'll see you all soon. Please go and join the Facebook group, uh, follow me on Instagram um, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel, please. And I promise I'll, it will not... La, 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 ba, 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 ba. I promise I will not leave it as long next time. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to go because I feel like I need to go and have a drink. See you all soon. Bye.